What are you doing up? Phone? No, sweetie. No phone. Here. Go back to sleep. But... Phone. No, no phone, sweetie. There, there. Phone. 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 That was close. Tell me about it. Now, where... Where was I? Did... Did you draw my notes? N no, they're... They're, they're storyboards. Why draw them on the notes? Just wait until Miss Introvert sees them. She'll like them. I never said I didn't like them. You just could have... Who in their right mind is texting us? Someone more important than our story. I just got done with the theme. Look. Uh-huh. This needs some serious work. Try veering away from the cliché. I don't want the reader to vomit. That's a little harsh. Maybe Miss Introvert will like it. I think we lost her, actually. Oh, come on now. She'll be back on it soon. Procrastination will go back to sleep, and then we can go back to the way things are. It's probably something work-related. <sighs> One day. One day. This will be our only work. Now what's happening? I don't know. Miss Introvert, what is going on is up there? Is she making contact with the outside world? No, she wouldn't. She can't. She's an introvert. That's... That's our brand. We don't... No, she's not being <laughs> Texting! Wait, what did she say? Procrastination? Say it again. Texting. Miss Introvert is texting someone. Someone, someone she likes. See, she's back. That wasn't so long now, was it? We went with her, we saw everything. What do we think? I think it's fine. We have a new challenger to our writing. Or maybe a new challenger for you? Based on what they talked about and the way she was laughing. You guys know that she is miserable most of the time and never laughs like that. You've got a point. How does she have a point? Yes, how do I have a point? She's stating the obvious. You heard the way the other person was laughing too. They're perfect for each other. At least for now. That's what you think? But this will never last. This is her first one and Hold we- Hold on. You can't even say it, can you? You know. I don't know until you tell me. Then I won't tell you. I don't want to make it more real than it already is. <laughs> Don't pester her, you know she's very sensitive. Oh, but it's such fun. Her first what? Editor. Ugh, get her down here right now. So, so what? What's the verdict? The verdict? All the words you could have chosen? I think I underestimated how fun this is going to be. Let's just, let's just bottle up our feelings and get back to work. That's not, not even healthy. We need to talk about these things self to self. <gasps> Journals, anyone? Oh no. Whoa, that almost hit me. These corners are really sharp. What about work? We can do this later. Oh. 
Wait a freaking second, you've written about this person before? Why are you asking me things we already know? We wrote this a few weeks ago. That's right. You did. That's strange. A writing outlet for the problem we're trying to solve. <sighs> There's a lot in here. You wrote a lot about this person, not just a few pages. You guys are worried that dating is procrastination, aren't you? Well, look at all of this productivity. Eh? If not procrastination, it's a distraction from your current project. And your diction is atrocious. You're atrocious. What did we say about being nice to ourselves? She is being atrocious. Why is it that editor always gets to be blunt and I have to be the manic pixie dream girl who is only allowed to be authentic when I feel and react to situations? Well, that's one way to play with that archetype. You were there when we watched Arcane. Right? Oh, I love that show, but I never want to watch it again. Why ever not? Because it's genius storytelling and character development makes me feel so inferior. Well, let's not compare ourselves to our betters. So you agree? They're better. Yes? Where are we going with this conversation? Leave it to inspiration to take us off track. Oh, I'm such a curse. I should go. No, I need you to help me. No, I've helped enough. I've manifested a date for you through this journal entry. <sighs> And now you all hate me for it! Wow. Inspiration. Dear. You're not a curse and no one hates you. This is just... surprising. Yeah, it's surprising. Are you sure you're not texting one of those anime AI bots? Really? That's... Yes, I did that once. For fun. But this is a real person. Plus, AI is making me afraid of my writing career. He's a... Dangerous times. Okay, real talk though. Can I just say that I saw you perk up when this person texted. You guys saw how I woke up, right? You just jolted awake like you were possessed. I thought you were going to murder us. Could you murder us? Never tried. But if I got away with it, Miss Introvert would never know. She'd probably never write again and just be oblivious. Like, her mind would be erased of all creativity and structure and I would be supreme ruler. But then she would feel judged by everyone for not having a purpose in life. This is our purpose, right? Our, our only purpose? That's the vibe I'm getting, especially from you. Very judgmental today. Back on track, if this person does make you stop writing, are you still going to feel happy and bubbly and alive? And will those feelings keep you safe from your self-doubt? Can you feel alive and sad at the same time? I don't think we've ever felt this way before. Sounds like a great idea for a song. Have you not heard every popular song in existence? Let me be in love. I think I can roll with this. Let's experiment with this. And maybe you'll be more inclined to write instead of just feeling an obligation to write. It's a good obligation to have though, isn't it? It is, but it's healthy to explore other sources of feeling and challenge. Let's just see where this takes us. We might learn new things about this person, about their life and their challenges, and it will inspire our writing. It is a timeless tale to look into the human soul of another. Why do I feel like I've heard that somewhere? I think I made it up. If you're all in agreement, then let's finish this project and see where the next date takes us. You can all be present if you would like, but just don't embarrass me. What? We're not your parents. Yeah! <laughs> We're cool. I feel like I'm being lied to right now. Well, I'm willing to negotiate with the mind of this person as well. And who knows, maybe I'll be open to seeing someone else's point of view more intimately. That's the spirit E! Let's be supportive parents! But you guys aren't parents. You're cool. You're too cool for school. No, 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 no. I'm the doting one who takes you out for ice cream and bike rides, and editor is the one who shows you how to change the oil in your car and how to make lasagna. I am not part of this. Back to it, everyone. She's right. Time to keep trekking. I will be at my desk. 
Back to my storyboards. <laughs> These are very messy. I can hear you daydreaming. 